America is facing a perfect storm of economic crises hitting at the very same time. We talked about this a little bit with George. Today, the Treasury Secretary warned of multiple dangers. The economic outlook globally is challenging um, and uncertain, and higher food and energy prices are having stagflationary effects. Janet Yellen is known for being boring. Challenging and uncertain are not boring words when it comes to the economy. They should be terrifying to everybody. It's everything but a recession is coming. Stagflation is something most Americans haven't ever dealt with, high inflation and high unemployment. Let's start with gas prices. They hit another record high today, topping out at 450 a gallon, 456 there. JP Morgan estimates they could go to $6 a gallon. That's on average, so many Americans will pay a lot more. Already, the American family spends $5,000 a year on gas. That's compared to $2,800 a year ago. That, too, will go higher. That combined with Yellen's testimony tanked the markets. The Dow Jones Industrial Average lost nearly 1,200 points today. It's the worst day since June of 2020 during the pandemic. $10,000 invested in the S&P 500 on January 1st is worth about $8,000 today. 68% of America's CEOs fear a recession, and those gas prices contribute to it. Gas and oil goes into everything. That increases the cost of everything for everybody. The compounding problems create a perfect storm for President Biden. Just a few hours ago, he invoked the Defense Production Act to make more baby formula, but it still could be weeks for the store shelves to get restocked, literally. At every turn, Mr. Biden faces a problem needing presidential attention. Here is the president's problem list, in his own words, in just the past six weeks. And I've directed my team to do everything possible to ensure there's enough safe baby formula. This is one of my top priorities. I'm taking inflation uh, very seriously, and it's my top domestic priority. I will do everything in my power to limit the pain the American people are feeling at the gas pump. This is critical to me. Everything in their power to expand quality and affordable health care coverage. We're going to continue to deliver critical support to Ukraine. Well, the old saying goes, if you want something done, ask a busy person. But at least so far, everything on that list to get fixed is getting worse. Congressman John Garamendi, Democrat of California, is with us now. Uh, Congressman, at some point, will the president, I should say at what point, will the president have to say to the American people, things are bad and a lot of it's out of my power and I'm not sure when it's going to get better? Well, that's not the job of the president. And I don't think you're going to hear Joe Biden say that. In fact, he is doing everything within his power to deal with each of those issues that you just, uh, that you just heard. Uh, certainly, the Ukraine situation uh, is rapidly evolving, but you have to admit that the president and his team was able to rally NATO and the European Union at a time when nobody thought that was possible. And after four years of Trump basically doing whatever he could to destroy the unity of NATO and the Uni and United States with the European Union. With regard to inflation, uh, there are very serious uh, reasons why we have inflation. Uh, certainly one of them uh, is something that wasn't Biden's uh, doing, and that was the pandemic. The pandemic and then the various rescue plans and the very quick effort by Americans, thankfully, uh, to get back in the groove, to get the American economy up and moving. All of those things are part of the inflation problem. With regard to gasoline, well, let's be real about this. The uh, American, the opportunity for the petroleum industry to drill and to extract more oil in America is there. They're not taking advantage of the leases that they presently have. Yeah. Instead of investing in the leases, they're investing in buying back stock so that it would drive yeah. up the stock I, I, First of all, you, you and I have been on here and, uh, together, and I couldn't agree with you yeah. more on Ukraine in terms of, of how well the administration has done. It's been uh, nothing short of sort of remarkable to see where we're at now versus where we all thought we were going to be. Um, on, on the issue of gas prices, I'm, I'm interested in when you say it's, it's not the president's uh, responsibility. This was Chuck Schumer, May 23rd, 2018. Gas, the national average, less than $3. Here's what Schumer had to say. President Trump can take action today to help alleviate the pain at the pump for Americans. 
It's time for this president to stand up to OPEC on behalf of the forgotten man and woman he promised to remember. All right. If it was Trump's fault when gas national average less than three dollars a gallon, why is it not President Biden's fault and why can't he fix it when it's more than 450 a gallon? Well, there are several reasons. First of all, the uh, international oil companies really do control this situation, as do the Gulf states and Venezuela uh, and Russia, for that matter. Uh, clearly, the Russia issue is a major piece of this. The removal of the Russian oil and gas from the international market, or at least the disruption of that, clearly is a factor. That has created a shortage, and that is one of the reasons. With regard to the Gulf states, uh, very difficult to negotiate with them. They're going to want to extract a high price, and that is for the United States to wipe out Iran. That is something that is uh, not a very good idea to do. Uh, beyond that, uh, we do know that the uh, big international, or at least, well, all of them, and certainly the American the uh, petroleum industry has reaped extraordinary profits uh, in, in the run-up to the prices. So these are all factors. Uh, and one that I mentioned earlier is the very rapid restart of the American economy. Yeah. Earlier, there was a discussion about unemployment. Unemployment is extraordinarily low. There are a lot of jobs out there. It's true. And men and women... Many are choosing not to go back to work, at least immediately, although that seems to be yeah, changing just... here in the recent days. <laughs> yeah, if pr prices keep going up. Everybody's going to have to go back to work. Congressman, we appreciate you getting off the floor so quick for us. It's always good to see you. Sure. Yeah, thank you very much. Anytime, Leland, you call. I, I you. will. We appreciate it. Good to see you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.